Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you um, a project one of my subscribers um, sent me. He learned how to model this F-15 from watching my videos and everything. And this is the second model that he's modeled. And he asked me would I help him on the, um, let's see here, these intakes right here. This is round right through here, as you can see. And what else? I can uh, take a look at here. Um, as you can see from this angle, let me turn off these sketches here, that it's round here, and that needs to be square. Now, there are several ways you could tackle this problem of making those square, but we're going to do the easiest way of doing this, and I think it's probably um, the, the best solution. It does look quite scale um, this way. And we're going to use the crease command um, for that. Let me turn the origin off here, too. We don't really need that. Okay. So what I need to do, I'm going to turn off all this other stuff because I really don't need it. So come up here. And let's see. Turn off all this. Not very hard to do as far as um, doing this, making this square up here. Like I said, there's a couple of ways of doing it, but um, like I said, we're going to do the what works best. As you can see, we have this right here. And so the first thing that came to my mind um, when I saw it was to just redo this, um, this area right here, um, do a plane here, then do a... Um, um, a sketch and then extrude it and then cut it but I came up with this so now this part here I need to find this down in the timeline so come down here and click on find and window and here it is so what I'm going to do is right click on this and click edit and now um, the lines are not on so I'm going to uh, cut the lines back on which is control 6 and what I'm going to do here, you can see he's done a lot of work to this. I'm going to select this line here. And I'm going to select this line over here. Then I'm going to come up here to modify and come down here to crease. And go ahead and crease these. Click OK. And we have that, and let's go ahead and finish forms. Or, yeah. Okay, and that's what we have. But now, as you can see, rest of this does not look right, even though this intake looks correct. But rest of the this intake doesn't. So what we have to do is find this left intake down in the timeline also. And come down here, find in the window. And here it is. So we right click on this, click edit, and we have this. So what I'm going to do now, click this line here and the opposite line over here. Then come up here to modify and select crease and click OK and go ahead and finish form and as you can see there it is they turn off the lines here control 4 that turns off the lines so as you can see now that looks like it should. And we can turn on the um, rest of this model back on again. And 
Okay. And it was just that simple to do that. Now it looks um, scale, the intakes. And I only had to do that to one of the intakes up here or on the left side because this side was mirrored. So um, by doing this, it would automatically do it over to this side if this was mirrored going back in the timeline. So that's all that takes. And that's the easiest way of doing that. And it's probably the best way of doing it because, and like I said again, now it's scale looking. And let's try something here. You could even add a fillet up there to even make it look better, like that. Yeah. So that's that. And what you can do too is add a little more detail to this jet also. to turn the canvases back on. We can create a sketch on this plane here. Rotate this back. Draw a line. And click OK, finish sketch. Turn sketches back on. And split body. This is the body to split. And the splitting tool is this line. And click OK. Do the same thing for this one. Split body. This. And the splitting tool. Uh, that line again is under sketches here. Turn that back on and select that line again and click OK. Turn the sketches off, don't need them. Letter A for appearance. And we can change the color of this and close that out. Turn off the canvases. And we have that. Now you can go back and add more detail to this and um, etc. But this is a nice looking model that he designed from just watching my videos. And this is the second one, which is really nice. So yeah, but anyway, like I said, he asked me to show him how to um, make these more scale up here. And that's how you do that. And one last thing before I go, let me take another look up here. Um, turn the canvases back on. Now this portion here and this portion here don't line up with back here. That's really no big problem there. What we can do is create a sketch on this plane here. It's a line. And split body. This is the body to split. Splitting tool of that sketch. And click OK. And we can turn this off now under bodies here. Oops. Let's see. That's that portion there. Right click and just go ahead and remove that. Turn off the sketches again. Turn off the canvases. And there. The 
just that simple. Like I said, it's a very good looking model he designed here. So yeah, so go ahead and watch my videos if you're new to Fusion to learn how to do stuff like this. And I'll be coming out with my own course to learn Fusion and learning how to model airplanes all at the same time and how to prepare them for 3D printing and everything. And it's a course, so if you know nothing about Fusion, this will teach you all that you need to know to model airplanes like this and um, 3D print them. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, just a short little video here today on how to do intakes, use, uh, uh, make these look more scale using the crease command. So yeah, and um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like my videos, hit that like button as well. And also, I invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon group. And they both are called Cat Bill Fly RC. Go over there and have a, um, a quick look and see things. There's a lot of nice people over there to help you do things and everything. So, um, yeah, have a look over there. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments because I do answer questions. If you need any help designing something, um, send me an email or contact me on my Facebook group or my Patreon site. So, yeah, so that's going to do it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.